What's up everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming and we're back with some more LEGO City Undercover. This one happens to be Festival Square Free Roam where we cover that nice carnival-like area down in the southeast kind of corner of your map. It's kind of the middle east south area but we'll we'll show you on the map where it is and we'll go ahead and trudge our way through and get all of these awesome collectibles including a trophy achievement called mr gold which requires us to get four billion total studs and it just so happens with our multiplier bricks on and all the traveling we've done so far we ring it off in this particular video here so as we're taking a quick look at heritage bridge stop what you're doing stop everybody and quickly make your way to your red bricks we want to make sure that you guys have the super color gun red brick on if none of them else because it is really important to have that in this level as there are some high flying paintings that need to go down and it's uh, a pain in the took us to have to go down to the downtown area that blue area down there where that paint gun uh, dispenser is where all the different colors are and you will have to go there a couple of times as there are multiple paintings here now hey looking at our overall collectibles here you can see we have a super brick build as well as a gold brick and a vehicle token now that's for unlocking the helipad that you can see right there on the old map which is just on the west side of the hospital here so we're actually gonna run right by that now I can't imagine you don't have that completed assuming you've completed all of the story and the free play before starting your free roam and that helipad is actually right up above us on the left on that nice little high rise but we're gonna not mess with that right now but we wanted to point it out and we'll come back to that a little bit later too and show you how to get up there but first we're gonna go down into this corner and get our smash on with our mining pickaxe as you can see there's a whole bunch of dark gray or black bricks down here and once you smash them all you find one of those boulders to destroy so we'll go ahead and take that out and get our first collectible out of the way so uh, only a handful more to go. Hey, speaking of which, we have quick links down below in the video description. If you didn't already notice that thumby helpful tip that popped in a few minutes ago. But uh, yeah, if you're in a hurry, maybe you need that red brick location. Or who knows, maybe you have a specific item you're after. All the quick links should be all there down below in the video description. And you should click them and take you there quickly. Now, hey, we used a grapple point on the back side of the hospital here to go ahead and get up on this next level. As it turns out, the jetpack should get you right up there too. But... If you're into that grappling sort of thing, go ahead and grapple your way up there, make your way to the right, and grab that character token for the surgeon, and then make your way all the way over to the left, and use this space crate, space crate, and look at that, we've actually revealed an alien, and we're going to go ahead and tackle this bad boy. Now, a few of you have mentioned that you don't need to be in the police costume in order to arrest these aliens. Now, I would agree with you in most cases, however... For some reason, the last couple of videos I've been in, I have not been able to arrest these guys. Now, a couple of you have suggested perhaps lag, things like that. Possible, sure, but I am running this game on a PS4 Pro, uh, and it seems unlikely that the game's computing power is too far behind in order to show things like that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it won't be a problem in the future. Hopefully if you guys are having any troubles ringing down the bad guys, you just have to switch over to the police edition and it should be good to go. Now, on the very back right corner of the hospital on the back side, there is a crowbar point and I got a little button happy with my spam, 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 spam. As you can see, the same button to open the door is also the same button to close this challenge that opens up. So you got to kind of be patient with that. And uh, look at that. We've opened the door. We've got inside and now we have to take this vehicle to the drop-off point. And I have to be honest, this is a really, really long drive. We end up way far away from home. That's right. We are not in Kansas anymore when we finish this. And uh, we actually do a little bit of an edit to uh, speed some of this up because once we get to the end we, we drive all the way there but once we come back we actually kind of do a little bit of uh, you know hollywood trickery where we're in one spot in one second and then with a blink of the eye we're back to where we started which is right there at that crowbar door entryway where this whole mission started now essentially all you have to do with this though is drive to the location where that green arrow is and as you can see we're following a stud trail here and you know I turned on all my red bricks and I thought I have the collect sat nav <laughs> easy for me to say collect sat nav studs red brick on but as it turns out I didn't and I actually 
Uh, on my way back, I f figured that out and I turn it on. So when we do the little edit and all of a sudden you see me like almost returning back, you'll see me collect a few of those. And then I'll collect more as the video goes on. So it turns out even the old wing rings when you're the farmer and you're using the old the chicken to go ahead and float through those rings, those little uh, studs around the rings happen to be the same color as the sat nav studs and they actually count. I was pretty surprised as I don't remember that being a factor in any of the earlier Lego games. Now, I have to be honest, I, I don't mind the fact that this game allows the cars to jump. Like, I, I always think cars jumping is a little far-fetched, but a cool feature in video games. Because, I mean, we're in a digital world. Things can happen that are going to happen in the real life, right? But in this particular case, the PlayStation controls have a motion sensor in it. And if you move the controller a certain amount, it'll actually make the car jump. So some of these jumps you're seeing here are me, like, moving the controller left or right or up. And I'm, like, jerking it back or something. And I'm jumping on accident. But well, that's all right. Hey, did you notice we actually opted to go for the convertible edition of this vehicle? <laughs> we're actually cutting it really close as we're nearing the end here. Uh, we still have only two hearts left, and we don't want to lose them because that would be a shame to go ahead and have to start this all over again. But here you are. We're nearing the finish line here as you just have to take a right into this fenced off area and pull right into that poiple halo. And there you go. We're going to show you real quick on the map. And I think I show you again here in a second because that was kind of a quick one. But we pull in, and, you know, being honest, I probably didn't need to show you on the map other than the fact that, like, we're showing you how far away we are because, uh, you know, the game shows you how to get there. But, hey, look at that. We've completed it. We got a vehicle token as well as a gold brick. Now, I try to say that name in that vehicle token, but I would just slaughter it, and you guys have already made it pretty clear you don't appreciate my word slaughterings, like, you know, Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, for example. Hmm. All right, you can see we've targeted right where we started that mission, and we have officially drove there, and I didn't want to waste your time driving all the way back, but we did figure out, like I said, that the red brick for the collect sat-nav studs was not on, but it is officially on now, so... Next up, we've got this Inspector Clouseau spot over here where we're going to pull out our tracker and we're going to follow this. Now, I have to be honest, before I started this, I noticed that there was an ice box, like a freezer, like we're heading for right now, but it's all the way on the left-hand side. So not, not going right from where we're going, but left the other way. And I thought for sure that's where it was going. And I was going to make a comment and be all cool about it, but it turns out I was wrong. But in this particular case, it turns out that, that freezer down there actually had a super brick. So we'll collect that bad boy, and I want to show you a little secret here. You guys probably remember this little area from the story, as this was one of the last levels. And you had to go through that little garage area there, through that door, which then led you up in an elevator upstairs. We're going to skip that, though. You can see the jetpack does the job just fine to get us up here. And we're going to go ahead and take on, look at this, we got a d -d 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 drill through. So that's right, it's hammer time. Pull out that old hammer and smash that fuse box and go ahead and step on that pressure-sensitive switch, which is going to go ahead, you saw a little explosion there in the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure why that happened, but all of a sudden we have these, uh, this whole slew of points that we need to take out. It looks like there are 28 of them total, so go ahead and get your d -d 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 drill on and we'll make our way around. Now, hey, in this particular thing, you have plenty of time and there are two sections you have to take out these guys in. And the only thing I can really say is try to connect the dots. La, la, la. No, I'm just kidding. But for reals, though, like notice how I'm kind of going in a path. Like I'm, I've kind of drawn uh, an object with the way I'm going. I'm not zigging and zagging and going back and forth. I'm literally kind of uh, going in a methodical order here. So uh, look at that. We've officially got all 28 of them. We had plenty of time to spare. So hopefully you didn't have any troubles with that as that one might be a little bit of a pain, but you never know, man. All right, this is one another little cool trick I found out too. Using the jetpack, it's hard to land on that blue base plate there and get your walk on. But if you kind of uh, jump up and then go with the base plate instead of trying to cross it, if that makes sense, you can actually get up there quite easily. Now, we have skipped a little bit of this area, and I do want to point out on the far right side, over on the high right side of your screen there, is the heliport that we unlocked. So we don't physically go over there and show it to you, because we've already done that, and we're pretty sure that you have done that too. I'm not sure you can complete the story without unlocking that. Like, I'm 99% sure that you have to unlock that. And look at me, I am struggling. The old jetpack is handy in many occasions, but in, this, in the climbing on the acrobatic walls, 
not good. I'm terrible. I like to hit that button extra fast, and in this particular case, it was hurting me, not helping me. But all right, hey, up on top of the roof, all the way on the tippy tip top, we're gonna find ourselves the District Conquered spot. Go ahead and jump up there with the jetpack and press the icon indicated and collect your gold brick. You know me, we love gold. And ooh, you guys might have already grabbed this as well because this was part of the story. We did come up here at one point because we needed to activate those wing rings right behind us here. But we're going to actually pull out our fireman suit and ax our way through this door here. And look at that. Inside, we find the character token for Natalia Kowalski. That's right, one of our favorites in the game. Uh, she actually plays a pretty big role if you haven't been watching along. But uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and activate these wing rings here. Now, this is simply to, uh, I believe there's a super brick out on the top of that building. But again, I do not think you can complete the story without doing this. Now, hey, you might have not have completed the story yet. And if that's the case, then you probably don't have Rex either, which means you probably don't have a crowbar. So uh, you are missing out on some stuff, people. And you're probably wondering, hey, you missed the wing ring, Brian. What are you doing? Actually, that's true. But that was part part of the plan here. We're actually going to drop down and, ooh, I just realized, I wonder if you can get up onto that alligator. We actually have to get up there later. And I wonder if you can use that wing ring to kind of get over there. Or maybe the jetpack will give you enough boost. But uh, next up, we've got a super brick build, which happens to also kick down with the dozer vehicle token. And of course, we get a gold brick for unlocking it as well. Now, this one's just kind of down there by the docks. If uh, we were to flip the camera around, we're right there by the little port. And look at this, it's a call-in point, and it only cost us 8,000, which is nothing. I mean, we got over 500,000, and we're going to get a whole bunch more in this video, too. And I'm sure we missed some along the way, as I don't think I ever even once pull out my scanner to look around. However, we do find quite a few in some nooks and crannies. And I, and I even, I know for a fact that I miss one of them, because it was just too long of a detour, and it just wasn't worth it to me. But I'll show you where it is, and I even unlock the area on how to get there. So, next up we are looking at this like i don't know what this is it's a pretty large building right in the middle of the area and check this out on the left hand side or west side if you're looking at the map it is going to have a fenced area and inside there you're going to find a coffee break which happens to be the only break we get in this video all of the rest of the break no i'm just kidding we're we're going to take breaks whenever we want because there's that lovely pause button right and all right, before making our way up, because you probably smashed that blue barrel and found that there is a baboinger there, we're actually going to wrap around to the north side of the building. And in this particular case, there's an ATM. I'm going to get better about standing my character looking at the object we're uh, <laughs> taking advantage of here, not looking away from, because I often look at the camera. Like, I, I, I don't know why I've gotten in this habit of, like, da, 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 look at me. Like, every time I go to the map, and I'm going to start not doing that, because it, it makes more sense to point the character arrow at the object rather than away from it, right? So, all right, we went ahead and smashed that ATM and got our gold brick for that. Now we're going to make our way back over to this vaulting point inside this fenced area. Now, for us, the jetpack gets us over nicely, and inside there's that blue barrel I already mentioned. We're going to go ahead and smash and rebuild into a ba-boing. Look at that. We can go ahead and make our way up there. And I don't know how. There's another super brick that I totally missed. So there's actually two that I, I don't know. Uh, hopefully you guys grab it. But hey, look, there's no shortage of bricks. We are not needing any, so it's not a big deal. And look at that. We flip around the backside, and there's one waiting there for us, too. So, all right, next up, we're going to switch on over to the farmer and pull out that suspect watering can, man. And look at that. Make that little flower grow up the wall there. We'll go ahead and use it to climb up to that next little spot there. And luckily for us, there's an acrobatic wall. And, ooh, a bluesy. We'll go ahead and grab that twosie. You know me. Got to get them all. Got to get them all. We'll go ahead and scale this pipe here. And uh, once we get all the way to the top, we can choose left or right. It doesn't matter. There's studs all the way both ways. And once we get to the end, there is some more buildable bricks that we can use to get into a boinger. Now, we're going to get all the way up to the top of this roof, and I have to be honest, I actually make a boo-boo at one point, and I had to come up, and I had to make this route a couple of times. It's no fun. Uh, so I'm telling you this now because you might have to do it. Because remember I mentioned that there is that alligator that we mess with? Yeah, well, uh, there is a series of pretty... <laughs> Uh, pretty fun jumps, and we'll show you those here in a minute. Now, this next one, like I said, we're going for that red brick, which gives us the longer vehicle boost. We've made it all the way to the top of this rather large building, and up here on the backside of the building, around the corner in a hidden spot, you can find the red brick tucked in, 
And, uh, yeah, so easy peasy. This uh, next one is the unlock vehicle. Or, no, sorry, the free run token. <laughs> easy for me to say again. It's a little early, people. It's a little early. I haven't even had breakfast yet. Sometimes it gets warm up in my office, and I have to cut these videos, especially the long ones, early in the day because it gets really hot in my room by even the middle of the day. It's hotter than I want to deal with. Let's put it that way. Um, all right, so we've unlocked the free run. It is actually down on the ground right by that vaulting point where we got into that coffee break and how we got up here. But we're going to go ahead and pay attention to this chicken spot in the back and activate the old wing rings. And look at this. We're going to go ahead and make our way around. This is kind of a weird angle here. That's right. Funny angle. We're going to go ahead and swoop around. And I found that it's smart to go ahead and start steering to your next objective as soon as you clear that wing ring or even before that. Now, this is crazy a little tight pants joey tight walking across the ropes here and uh we get all the way across and then we have to shimmy down on a little zip line here and then we have to get our baboing on from not one piggy but two and this one has a hand held for us that's a little easy but i gotta be honest i fell more than once and uh, luckily for me there's a nice animation to actually uh activate those wing rings so i was able to just match those up and you probably couldn't tell and oh wait a minute i just told you so now you know anyways but uh, all right we've bounced our way all the way across from chicken to pig to pig to alligator and now we've got ourselves a vehicle token waiting for us up here and that's not the only thing, so don't go get all excited and bounce off quite yet. We actually have a gang arrested point up here. And there you can see, there's the top of the hospital. So I'm wondering, you might be able to make your way to the top over here from the top of the hospital. So I don't know. Either way, whatever you get there is fine. There's you might even be able to launch a helicopter and land. Oh, no, you can't. That's right. You, you can't jump off a helicopter. Jump. It's so yeah. weird that you can't, like, land it and get out of it. But right maybe you can. I, oh, anyhow. That's nice. Scan around until you find the important scan, and it's going to give you the juicy gossip. And then, of course, we're only going to have a few seconds to get to a point of interest and then take out these bad guys. So that's right. We're going to have to jump off the alligator and plummet to our doom. And once we get over there, we actually have, I think, five guys we got to take out. But no worries. After we get that fourth guy, uh, the fifth guy takes off and runs because he's such a wuss. But, uh, all right, so we are making our way down and over there. I've got the point. Uh, well, actually, it shows you on the map. I don't have it marked, but it actually shows you. And once you get to that purple halo, you see the bad guys come running out. And it's up to us to go ahead and take them down. Now, look at that. They take out a couple of the awnings. And, hey, don't take out the ice cream, man. But, uh, all right, so let's see here. I got out my grappler. and Look at me. I've got them all wrapped up in the first, like, two seconds. And then I totally botched this. I am struggling big time to take these guys down, but eventually I get them all cuffed and stuffed, and we can move on and collect our gold brick. All right, that's right. Look, I'm a, I'm a pretty excellent fighter, I gotta say. And uh, Oh, they're all on their back. Four out of five down. Look at me, I was jumping for joy, but I didn't realize one of the guys took off. But hey, that's another bonus to this uh, grappler gun, is that you can actually take guys down from a distance and catch up to them rather quickly. So check it, check it out. We've got that ninth gold brick under our belt, and we are now ready to move back. We'll move on, but we got to go back up to that big building that we were just on. And, uh, oh, right. No, we don't. No, we don't. We got to go to the free run. We got to go to that big building. Sorry. My bad. I was looking at my notes here, and they were wrong. But, uh, actually, I was just misreading them. All right. So, we're over to the big building on the left side where we access the rooftops and everything. And, uh, if you're using the quick link to get here, the token for the free run is actually on this building. So, simply hop that fence right there and make your way all the way to the top, and you should have no problem getting it. But this one is pretty simple. There's, I think there's only one path uh, well, I, I, okay, there's two ways to run around the building. You can go left or right on, on both of the floors, but in the end, you have to make it to the opposite end of the building and go up. So there's really only one way to get up there. You cannot miss any of these tokens is what I'm getting at. In a previous free run, we were able to uh, take a couple of shortcuts using the jetpack, which actually shaved a whole bunch of time off of our overall route. However, it also prevented us from getting a couple of those tokens as we were skipping the areas that those tokens were left for us. So, all right, you can see here, the fourth one is in our backpack, and we just need to use the jetpack to get up top. Now, 
Another way to get up there is to axe your way into that door and use the teleporter. But why would you do that when the jetpack just gets you up there so much faster? And look at that. We make it all the way to the top, and with a couple of mistakes, we still have 33 seconds left. But we'll go ahead and collect our character token for the mm -mm robot, as well as a gold brick. So we love gold. So we'll take that. And next up, what do we got? We got a train station to activate. I got a little bit excited here. I was going to drop down there, but I was wrong. It's over here. So we got to go to the northeast side of that big building that we've been up on and dealing with. And uh, just across the street, a little bit further north, you're going to find this little cranny here, this little nook. And we're going to drop down in there and smash that green. I don't know what that is. It looked like some sort of a soda machine or something. But we'll smash it and rebuild it. And look at that train station activated. So feel free to get your choo-choo on and roll to any of the other train station areas. That's kind of a quick travel if you're trying to get from one spot to another. However, in our case, we're just going from one area to the next. So not a lot of that needed in our case. All right, this next one, Character Token 4, requires us to not only paint three basketball hoops that are scattered throughout the area, but also shoot and successfully complete all three of the basketball games for each of these basketball spots. So, okay, let me, let me say that again. There are three basketball locations. Each of them have a hoop that needs to be colored with the color gun. And then all three of them at each location need to be completed. So uh, it's kind of, you know, like um, easy, medium, hard kind of a deal. You got green, yellow, red. And the further you go to the right, the further the difficulty is or the harder the difficulty is. And uh, so, yeah, so we are officially at the first location. And we've got all three of the locations marked in quick links in the video description. And then the character token actually kind of uh, is a little bit of a jaunt, too, depending on which order you take these on. So if you follow our order, it should actually drop you right next to where the character token is. And, and I got to be honest, this red one is certainly the most difficult one as it speeds up and gets going pretty fast. Luckily for me, though, I knock it out and I get them studs and we officially get all three of those accounted for. So we've officially got one of the basketball locations done. We're going to go to the next one now, which we're going to show you on the map. It's in the northeast corner, not quite in the tip of the northeast corner, but kind of in the middle northeast corner here. And uh, once you see these big floating pigs, it's just to the left. And if you follow the main road up and out of the area, you can't miss it. You'll drive right by it on your right-hand side. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and paint the red one again to go ahead and start things off. And that will complete the second of the paintings that we need to do. And now we're going to go ahead and... Oh, and by the way, if you don't have the Super Color Gun Red Brick, we actually have located the best area. It's downtown, right below the area we're in right here. They have that Color Gun Swapper area that has all the different colors. Now, problem is, you need to have the right color. So I can't stress enough how important that Super Color Gun Red Brick is. And we actually showed you where to get that in our Preparing for Free Play video, which really was kind of more preparing for free roam, as I don't don't know that we used that brick. And I guess I, I bet you we did use it in free play. I take that back. We totally did. We usually showed you where the color swapper was in free play, and those are usually pretty close. Uh, however, uh, in this particular case, it's really helpful because those color swappers are nowhere near where we are. So. All right, we got green and yellow done. And hey, real quick too, if you guys get the gist here, feel free to use the quick links to go ahead and get you to the third basketball location as well as uh, maybe where the character token is. Who knows? Maybe you're already done with this. You're done. With this. Use, the, use the quick links down below to go ahead and get you to the next spot. All right, I missed. I think I missed this one too. Oh, I got it. Woohoo! All right, so pressure was on, but I came through. Certainly not Shaquille O'Neal at the line. No hack a shack going on here. I, I got my uh, skills. I'm certainly no S Steph Curry though either. What he in the finals in 2017? He had like 31 straight free throws he made or 34 something like pretty high number like we've seen higher than that before but that's pretty impressive so all right the next basketball location i get a little bit lost and it's actually over on the left hand side right along the far left road now i'm like which way do i go which way do i go but i spotted here in three two booyaka shall there it is and look at that speaking of booyaka shall was a good timing i didn't really mean to do that but the mr gold trophy achievement has officially rang off and that's simply for getting 4 billion total studs accumulated at one time. That's not overall. It's not like 
in the whole game, the time we play, we actually have four billion studs in our bank account right now. And uh, the, the location was not important. It was just the amount that was important. So, um, all right. So we've officially shot all three of the basketball hoops. We colored all of them red. And that has unlocked a super brick for us, which is kind of deceiving. If you don't know, you have to shoot these basketball hoops and make nine uh, each location. Then you, you might miss a character token here, but uh, don't worry. We got you covered. We're going to go ahead and get you that gorilla suit guy. Now, it's kind of funny that I mentioned Hack-A-Shack, and, and I guess they probably planned this on purpose. Like, my thoughts is, is that TT or whoever's in charge of character assignments, um, they probably were like, all right, let's go. Let's let's add a character token to this basketball game. Uh, which character token are we going to add? And they probably, th you know, thought about things, and they were probably like, all right, a cowboy is probably not appropriate. Okay. Uh, rubber ducky is probably not appropriate. What could we use? And they're like, oh, wait, we got that gorilla guy. And think about it. How many times have you watched a sporting event, especially basketball, where you've seen like a gorilla or a person in a gorilla suit, I should say, uh, that's like slam dunking or something crazy? You know, like the Phoenix Suns, their mascot, I'm not sure why, is a gorilla. <laughs> so anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. They attached that too. And we've officially unlocked that character token for completing all nine of the basketball games at all three of the those locations and now we're going to go ahead and show you where that token is this one is kind of tricky although it did kind of show us with a little cinematic moment there it is kind of easy to forget or lose track of where it is and in this case look at that there's also a super brick so we'll collect that while we're here too so get your boing on off that acrobatic spot on the wall here hey watch out you might get plowed by a bus driving by i'm not sure if that can actually happen but it looked like the clearance was not quite there that's right you better watch your clearance clarence and uh, next up, we're going to make sure we collect that super, super brick over here that's right in front of this little uh, courtyard area. Now, it's the little roundabout on your map, and we're going to focus on this general area, but we're actually going to go right across the street first. So this big kind of like lighthouse slide looking thing uh, in the left side, just to the left of your roundabout area, we're going to go ahead and flex our muscles. That's right. We're going to use our first date arm and slam that bad boy down. Now, I was expecting to have to like rapidly press a button or something, but as it turns out, you just have to walk up and press the icon indicated. Now, as it showed there, we actually have three of these that we need. And you're probably wondering, well, wait a minute, Brian, where's the quick links for all three of them? They're actually really close and you don't need them. You just need to follow along. So uh, we started at the roundabout. We crossed the street on the left and uh, we smashed it we went right back across the street to the right and there was another one and the third and final one is actually in the back of that roundabout area where we started so two down one to go now don't forget to collect them studs especially if you haven't got that mr gold trophy achievement because the last thing you want to do is be short on cash when you're trying to get that trophy achievement and all right here we go we uh let's see here what do we got we've got one last slamming and all right, here we go. Cock back and let her rip. All right, ding. We've got it. Booyaka show. And let's see here. It should go ahead and award us an appropriate character token, which happens to be the old weightlifter. So, and look at that. Uh, as it turns out, we actually kind of figured out our notes here, and we have a little better indication of where these character tokens are going to spawn once you do these. So, there are a few objects in this area that require multiple things, and here's another one. This one is character token number six for the circus clown. It actually requires us to blast or color four different balloons scattered in the area so we're going to show you where all four of them are and yes we do have quick links for these because they are kind of scattered out so first two are going to spawn right here in this roundabout area or little courtyard here both of them are on the left hand side now the next one we're actually going to cross the street and follow the shoreline here and it's actually right up there at the clock tower so not the lighthouse well they both kind of look like lighthouses to me if i'm being honest but one of them is made of brick and one of them is bright red and has a slide around it we want to go to the brick and it's actually the upper kind of notch along the shoreline here on your map and it's kind of tucked away if you don't have the right angle it's hard to see but we'll go ahead and blast that and on to the final one which is back across the street yet again and wait, there she blows. It's kind of tucked in there, as you can see. It's all, oh, I guess it's not by itself. But here it is, right next to the old super brick build. Hopefully you found that. If you haven't, wander around, and it should pop up for you. And look at that, booyaka, shaw. So it's right on the pathway to the super jump, too. So that's another way to look at it. Once you get all four of those blasted, the character token spawns right behind us. We're going to backtrack down this path here 
And wait for it. There we go. It's right down there. All right. It's on the right-hand side there. Look at that. I love it. We've seen this guy. This is the clown from the uh, the main menu of the intro of our videos, is it not? He's the one that's sneaking around behind us, the old circus clown. All right. He's now officially part of our adventure as he is uh, an unlocked character. We still have to purchase him, but we've got plenty of studies to do that. So, hey, remember that super brick build? Well, guess what? There's another one. There's actually two super brick builds. So don't get confused when looking for that final balloon. But, uh, hey, this one is the deep sea spin. And this one is actually part of our area here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and build it up. And look at that. I don't know about you, but that looks like a stomach ache for sure to me. I would get sick. But uh, Deep Sea Diver character token is unlocked for building that. And we also get a gold brick. So woo to the who. Hey, who does not enjoy bouncing in a bouncy castle? I don't know about you. This is one of the funnest things I got to do as a kid, though. And actually, Reese, one of our neighbors, had a big birthday party a week ago. And she actually had a bouncy castle. But it wasn't just a bouncy castle. It was like this crazy fort thing. You can climb up in it, slide down a slide. Then, but they had a bouncy part, too. So it was pretty awesome. And now, this one was a little bit random. A sumo wrestler in a bouncy castle? That seems a little bit odd. But hey, uh, notice the Super Brick build and the other icon there. They're actually not part of this area. So please don't get that confused. You're probably wondering, Brian, why didn't you go get that? Well, they're actually part of the northern area that's uh, right above us here. So we're going to get that at a later date. Now, next up, we're going to go back over to the old clock tower. And this is really important that you actually have the Super Color Gun Red Brick or you've gone and switched your color to gold. As we're going to go ahead and climb up onto the back side of the clock tower which launches us up over to the slide see now we're not on the clock tower anymore it has teleported us across the river here and we're going to go ahead and use some wing rings to float our way over there and you can see the right side of the clock tower is silver not gold and we're going to paint it gold that's right when life gives you lemons paint that clock gold oh to the yeah look at that see remember i was telling you earlier too we activated that sat or collect sat nav studs and it actually applies to the old wing ring studs, too. And look at that. We are stacking them chips. We got 4.2 billion studs. And uh, it's way more than we're ever going to need. Anyhow, uh, yeah, we switch on over to our criminal. And he goes ahead and paints it gold. And it opens up the door. But wait a minute. The character toke is down on the floor. So we're going to go ahead and drop down in there. And uh, anybody else get, like, little stomach vertigo moments, like, bleh, when you drop down? Like, I don't know about you guys, but when I drop down from high spots, the, the game that did it to me the most, or the worst, I should say, was Borderlands. Oh, my gosh. When you were jumping off of high spots, it doesn't really hurt your character, especially on uh, the most recent one. If you're floating around on the moon and stuff, are you kidding me? Uh, every time I was jumping from those high rises, it was terrible. But anyhow, I've talked over the next spot. We had a barbecue to extinguish, which is actually right on the left road. Can't really miss it as there's a giant fire. There's a whole bunch of food right next to it, too. And it's pretty close to where we got that character token earlier for uh, collecting all those balloons or painting all those balloons. Next up, we are finally going to go have some fun on the old slider Rooney. Go ahead and approach the stairs all the way. And actually, it, it teleports you to the top. It's kind of a weird deal there. You walk in the bottom of the stairs and it pops you up the top and all of a sudden we're all the way at the top we're going to go ahead and not only grab a super brick but we're going to make our way around the edge here and pay attention to this vehicle robber arrested point where we actually need to look and find the bad guy which look at that he's he's trying to take the vehicle and oh no he's being successful we're going to have to chase him down and take him out and it just so happens to work out for us that, look at this, we have a choppa that has dropped in a police vehicle. That is super handy. So we're going to hop in that and go ahead and get our chase on. Now, he has got a good head start on us, and he is gone. Look at that. He's all the way up. He's making a right turn up there. We're going to go ahead and don't mind our sidewalk driving here. People were, I assure you, nobody was hurt in the making of this video. But uh, essentially, you just need to catch up to him and play a little game of Car Ramrod. And once you get all of those hearts removed, he's going to hop out and take off on foot. And, of course, we need to chase him down, too. And I highly suggest using the undercover edition of Chase McCain, who has the grapple gun, as it will easily grapple him down and slow him on his run. So you can see here, pew, pew, pew. Got him locked up, and we can go ahead and cuff and stuff. And guess what? We're going to get a vehicle token, the Inferno, as well as a gold brick. 
quick. So we'll take them both. Thank you very much. And yeah, so next up, we actually have to make our way back to the area. As you can see, we are nowhere near where we uh, are supposed to be. So I'm looking for a car that has boost, but no such luck. So I hop in the old delivery truck. And at this point, I go ahead and fade to the area we're supposed to be. So look at that. We're officially in the northeast corner of Festival Square Free Roam. And this is actually in the far upper right hand corner you can see here and I had a hard time with my navigational system I kept trying to turn it off and it wouldn't turn off so I've got this weird green arrow I apologize for that but pay attention to the ATM in the corner by the bank we're gonna go ahead and withdraw some money first and then switch to the criminal edition and booyah kashow knock its block off and collect that cash so we've officially got both of the ATMs destroyed and we have got 15 of our gold bricks that we're shooting for in this area and we're going to make our way back over around the front side of this building, so kind of more towards the middle of our area here, and we're going to be looking for those giant floating pig balloons. Right below them, you're going to find a blue barrel that can be smashed and rebuilt into a bablinger. And hey, uh, I got to be honest, I make a mistake here. I fall. Yep. So this this is so these pigs are a little bit scattered. I have found that you kind of have to like as soon as you start coming down from your jump, you almost have to start leading into your jump in the direction you're going. If you notice, I'm bouncing and then bouncing, and then on my way down, I start to go in the direction I want to go, and then I go ahead and move in that direction. Now, there was a little bit of an edit right there because guess what? I fell not once but twice more, and I didn't want you to have to watch that and suffer through that ridiculousness with me. So, hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and edit that out. And you can see we use the twirly pole to get around, and we're going to crowbar this open, which is uh, it's access inside the building. Now, inside that building, there is a super brick. You can totally go in there and get it. We're going to pass on that one. We've got so many right now. I don't think we're going to need all of the super bricks we have, and I'm sure we're going to find plenty more along the way. Um, but I could be wrong. We might need a whole bunch more, so we might be back for that one at a later date. But uh, we're going to hop on old Piglet here and ride him on over to that bouncing green arrow, which takes us to the old cannon. And guess what? It's time again for Pigs in Space! That's right. Piggy has officially been returned. And look at that. We've got five of the 22 knocked out, completing the one for the Festival Square area. And, of course, grabbing that good brick. Next up, we got Emmett. We got to go save my kitty cat, Emmett. And, uh, hey, I don't know if you guys watched our unboxing for the Cars 3 stuff, but uh, if you look carefully in one of the close-up photos that I put, Emmett is actually spying through the Cars 3 box. So there was a little special goodie we got, and it's kind of a see-through plastic box, and Emmett's peeking through the back. It's hilarious. I highly suggest go checking it out. Um, and O to the S. So look at that. You just got to run over to where the point is on the high right side of the area. And, of course, switch to your fire costume, the fire man costume. And, um, yeah, pull out the old fishy and wave it around. Now, this next one is kind of a pain in the tuchus. Um, I actually have uh, shown you where the character token is. You can see there was a super brick right below it. Now, the way they want you to do this is they want you to go all the way over. Pay attention in the background here. You're going to see a little crack. There you go. In the far right side of the screen there, you can see that acrobatic wall, that blue and white checkered wall. They want you to run all the way over there, and then they want you to make it from rooftop to rooftop all the way over, and then ride this zip line down to get on top. But we're going to show you an easier way. Now, of course, there is a super brick or two up there, and there's plenty of studs as well, but that's not important to us. We're going to go ahead and jump on this lower little uh, fencing there and then just simply jump up out and over onto the awning and grab Dr. Jones. That's right. We've got him and we can officially move on and we got a watering spot next that we're going to take on. But hey, there's a super brick. Too easy not to grab. So we're going to go ahead and grab this one. So, you know, we're, we're not going to go out of our way for the hard ones, uh, the time consuming ones, at least not at this point. But these easy ones, like look at this. This is a large one. Why would we pass that up? I mean, this is good to go. And certainly not Superman here running through, switching from Clark Kent into our superhero costume. This is the slowest turning revolving door ever, huh? Anyhow, we're going to keep on making our way down south along this building line here. And you can see there is this little, little area here, this little crack. And we can find ourselves a watering spot and another super break. So we'll go ahead and take that guy on and look at that. 
Push them little daisies, watch them grow up. Anybody know what that's from? I keep saying that. And to be honest with you, I'm probably not even saying it right. But it's from something. And I'll say it's an older something. So if you're if you're young, you might not get it. And you can try Googling it. It might work out for you. But All right, next up, we have... Oh, to the yeah, we've got ourselves a character token tucked away inside the old bookstore. So we're going to use the crowbar to go ahead and get inside there. And look at that. There's a super brick in there. But all the way in the far back corner is our character token for the tribal chief. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, uh, grab the character token. Uh. All right, anyways. All right, last but not least, we got ourselves a disguise booth. This one is tucked away in the far right corner of the area, and you do have to leave the main road to get it, but simply smash it and rebuild it, and you'll be rewarded with a character token for Dr. Smith as well as the 19th gold brick, which technically is the 20th for this area because we did get that helipad super brick build as well, and it also gave us a vehicle token, which would have been the, the fifth and final vehicle token for the area. So real quick, we're going to give you an overview of all of the collectibles that we have gone through and shown you in this video just to kind of prove to you that we officially collected them all and hey if you have not already be off land head over to facebook.com slash happy thumbs gaming and take part in conversation and our weekly giveaways that's right we have lego we have htg themed stuff we have all sorts of stuff we give away every friday the contest starts friday and ends sunday so make sure you check those out take a quick peek at our overall totals here and that's gonna wrap it up for lego city undercover festival square free room where we trudged around got all those collectibles and hopefully put some smiles on your faces as we did it now as for me i've got lots more to do i hope you check out that thumbie must see video but as always until next time Hey ya, hey ya, see ya, uh, hey ya, hey ya, see ya, see ya.